alert. Namde Kano is not responding to treatment as two UK officers storm custody to get him moved. All right, uh, my people, we greet you all this very morning. This is the Lord TV. In fact, I'm telling you that uh, this very broadcast is causing a lot of fear everywhere, both in the IPOP camp, Aso Villa, um, the Southeast. In fact, um, it was three days ago the IPOP leader was of uh, was diagnosed of yet another very serious ailment and i tell you that this very sickness has been causing a lot of uh, tension um yes uh though some professionals were invited to attend to him because it was claimed that he needed a surgery you get it but the ipop leader was demanding for his own doctor why the federal government was insisting that he may do with the one given to him. <laughs> My people, do you know that as we speak now, Nam the Kano is not responding to, 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 to the treatments administered to him. Nothing should happen to this guy. Nothing should happen to this guy. Federal government, President Mopari, see, he should not use his old age to affect the young man. He should not use his old age to affect the young man. Nam the Kano is, uh, is, um, is, is, is still very young. He's still very young and with a promising future. Bori is doing all of these things because of his personal hatred. Because of the personal hatred he has for, for the IPOP leader. And why? Why? Has he not... Has, has he not satisfied all that, that, that is required? Has he not? Has he not um, met up with all that is demanded? Why? My dear listeners, this is where uh, uh, you will see uh, that President Mopari truly, truly has uh, something in mind. Something very very challenging in mind for the Igbos. Do you understand? And that is just the truth of the matter. Let us um, quickly hop into the content and see what truly transpired and how it um, it actually happened. This is the Law TV. Open Life Nigeria reports that councils for the indigenous people of Biafra Ifa in age of four has raised concern over the, the denial of adequate medical attention to his clients and the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra as he fails to respond to treatment. In a later dated January 30th, the lawyer revealed that the DSS has no adequate medical facilities to treat Kano's worsening health condition. Employing a low life and inadequate medical professionals has actually affected the IPOP leader the more. In the letter, he said, Today's visit to our indefatigable client, Onyendo Mazi Namde Kano at the DSS Detention Facility, Abuja, where he is still being unconstitutionally held, was led by our erudite lead counsel, Professor Mike ozekume -san. Our indefatigable lead counsel seized the opportunity offered by the visit to discuss the present health condition of Onyendo. Onyedo carefully narrated to him the non-provision of proper medical care to the beverage of life-threatening illness as if he is not responding to treatment. Of very particular concern is the fact that the DSS has no adequate medical facilities to treat Onyendo's deteriorating health condition. Onyendo seriously lamented about severe pains, particularly in his left ear. He also recounted that a previous scan at the instance of the SSS revealed that he must undergo an advanced surgical procedure to repair his left eardrum 
which had become greatly impaired by the severe torture and beating he received from agents of the federal government when he was forcibly kidnapped in Kenya and savagely renditioned back to Nigeria in June 2021. <laughs> Nam the Kanu must not die, you. <laughs> okay. Um, you see, it, 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 it's just like saying something and and you start you start thinking that uh, uh, that that uh, what that person is saying does not make sense. <laughs> Wait until when that thing starts to react. It has started reacting, but Barry doesn't know. Yes, it has started. See, Nam the Kanu needs his own doctor. That is the story. He needs his own doctor and not this one that the DSS are trying to do. They are trying to manage. Are they not the one that got him detained? They need to spend the money. They need to spend the money. And besides, these people don't want Nam the Kanu alive. That's why they are doing what they are doing. <laughs> my people, my people, hope everyone is seeing what is going on. And uh, I think President Mobile doesn't understand. I wish he understood. He then he would have called for the immediate presence of Nam the Kanu doctor to perform this surgical operation. Let's hear from you. Let's hear from you. Let's know what you think. And what's your own take on what has just been revealed? Maybe. Don't forget to comment. They are still very much of great importance. Don't forget to leave them below the comment section. Click on the subscription buttons as well. Ask the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos. Thank you.